Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission La Purissima. I'm going to start over here on the left hand side with one finger at the bottom and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to go all the way over to the right, slightly wavy line, and stop. I come back to the left and I put two fingers and put a dot. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw a straight line over, straight diagonal up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, straight line over, and stop. I come up to the top and I put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, starting at the dot. On the left, I draw a curve line down. Come back to the dot. Draw a curve line down on the right. Come back to the left. Draw a little curve line out on the left. Come back to the right. Little curve line out on the right. Come back to the left and draw a curve line down on the left. Come over to the right. Draw a curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a straight line across. Come down on the left and draw another straight line across. Skinny rectangle. Now I come back to the left and I draw my straight line down. Now you can connect this floating line on the left. Okay? Come over to the right. We're going to draw a straight line down to about there and then we're going to stop because now we are going to draw a straight diagonal out and a straight line across off the page. Come back to your diagonal line on the left and we're going to draw a curved line, curved line, keep going, keep going all the way across to the edge of your paper. Now I can continue this line down on the right and draw straight line across, stop, because I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, continue my straight line, come back and finish that line that was floating. Come right above this section and draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come back over here and at the very top we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect, put a little straight line inside and add a triangle. We come on the left hand side and I draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on the left, on the right, straight line, straight line, connect. Go back to the left and just add a little curve line on top on the left and a little curve line on top on the right. Now come over to this section and draw a straight line up curve line over, straight line connect on the left, straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect on the right. Come back in and draw me one, two straight lines on the left, one, two straight lines on the right. Come back to the left, add a triangle on the left, triangle on the right. Now underneath there I draw one straight line, and then draw it again, two straight lines. Okay. I come back over here, way over here on the left, and I'm going to mimic the lines that we just drew. So starting up here, I'm going to draw a straight line over, straight diagonal up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, straight line connect. I go back to the left and I draw curved lines all the way up and over. And I'm going to fill this whole section in with curved lines. Now they don't have to be real even because they're not real even on this section. Right here on the right hand side, inside the curved line, I draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down. I come back up to this part and I fill in some more straight lines. 
Now that I've done that, I now add straight lines in between each of these sections. And I know it's going to take you a while, so take your time. It's got a lot of tiles all the way down and around. You're working your way towards the right. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. And this section is also tile. So you're going to do curved lines all the way across. And now add your straight lines. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Come back over here to the left. We're going to draw a big straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. And right about here, we're going to draw one, two straight lines, and then we're going to draw slightly curved lines up, out, and over. And then we're going to add some bushes, so we're going to go up, down, wavy lines, doesn't matter what they look like, we're just filling in space. Keep going. Come over here to the right. We're going to add some over here. And let's put a bigger one over here on the left. These are all overlaps. Just keep going. And now this section, we'll just put some wavy line, curved lines pushed together. This is a tree, so it doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, there's a lot going on here, so we'll start off with a light green to color the inside part of this gate. And down here at the bottom is also light green. Then I found a different colored green to do this section of the vegetation in the bushes. So I'm going to make those a lighter green even. And then with my Whoops, my regular green, I'm going to come in and do this section. I'm going to do my tree. I'm doing the vegetation first. And this section over here, I'm going to do green also. Okay. Now, the color of this mission, I'm using a red-violet. It looks kind of rosy, pinky red. I didn't really have the right color I didn't think, but basically if you use a red violet or a pink and color this section the same color but darker and these sections lighter, this section dark, this section dark, the rest of this stuff lighter, lighter, you kind of get the idea of what they were going for. Come up and use your brown on all these tiles, a lot of tiles, so this is all brown. This is all brown. There is a section right here that should be partly an opening, it looks like. So I'll do that with my red-violet. And then the tiles around it should be brown all the way. A lot of tile work, so you're going to have to take your time on doing these sections. But once it gets done, it looks pretty cool. So take your time on all these little parts. Then, I take my brown and I went over my lines that I had going out and I did my tree trunk brown. I did these little bell holders. I did these brown. I did my bells green right here, here, and here. I did my doors my openings, I did these brown. And then I colored in the whole entire background that you can see blue. Now what I did is I went inside my little bells and I colored these openings around it blue. Because it's supposed to be the sky shining through. This one's kind of intense coloring. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Mission La Purissima, all colored in. This mission's interesting because it was destroyed by earthquakes and it was so important they had to rebuild it. It was one of the larger missions, even though it's in a very remote space. Okay, bye-bye.